Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Shadow Stitch, your coach of the Charlotte Chandelers. And today we have our week one for the CBN or the Castalia Battle Network, where we're going to be taking on One Crash and the Los Angeles Lucario. So, yeah, it's week one. If you missed my draft analysis, go check it out. It should be linked uh, somewhere. Uh, definitely will be a playlist down below to go check that if you want to see my thoughts on the entire team. But you see my team on the left, see his team on the right, and you see what we're bringing right in front of you. So if that's all you want to know, feel free to skip right ahead to the battle. But if you want to know what I'm bringing and why I'm bringing it, feel free to stick around. So, yeah, you see it. Of course, we have Darkrai right here. Darkrai uh, is really powerful. We're running a somewhat bulky set with a lot of offense. We do have a Kilowatt roll on the other side, which is a potential speed tie, but I didn't even want to bother with a with a speed tie nonsense. If it outspeeds me, sets up a Tailwind, then it outspeeds me and sets up a Tailwind, we will figure it out from there. We also have a lot of great supportive Pokemon here, like our Clefairy. This is pretty much entirely physically defensive uh, because we want to take a lot of those physical hits especially if we're following them away like Ogre Pond or Garchomp or even Tankaton uh, you know despite Tankaton having that really strong move you know we could definitely at least take one because Eviolite Clefairy is just really bulky. Helping Hand of course boosts the damage of our Pokemon and Icy Wind gives us a little bit of speed control and then After You is actually really nice because we do have a Trick Room option on our next Pokemon uh, Chandelure that uh, lets us be able to still utilize our fast Pokemon like Darkrai and Mian Xiao under the Trick Room, uh, which is very, very nice. So yeah, it's just a nice little extra option there. I did mention it already, but Chandelure is coming. Can't Chandelure looks fantastic offensively here. Heat Wave is just really powerful into most of this team. And the things that Heat Wave isn't great against, uh, we have Shadow Ball. Skeledurge may can be able to take a Heat Wave pretty well. You know, War Turtle, I mean, it could come, I guess. I'm not really expecting it, but, you know, we have Shadow Ball for that too. And then we have Protect to keep us safe and Trick Room to set up Trick Room. So he does have a lot of speedy Pokemon on that team, and I'm not really seeing a good way for him to stop Trick Room, especially if I can lead next to a Clefairy, Follow Meing, or our next Pokemon, Mian Shao, to fake them out. So, Air Balloon is really strong here to be able to avoid Earthquakes or Stomping Tantrums from Garchomp, so that's always really nice. So, Chandelure is just looking fantastic here as another specially atta attacking offensive piece. But we also have Mian Xiao for the physical offense, close combat, knockoff, fake outs, and wide guard. Very straightforward this week. We're here to do a lot of damage, outspeed pretty much everything uh, that we can, and we can always guarantee live one hit with our focus sash. Wide guard is great for blizzard spam or earthquake spam from the guard chomp, maybe even a little bit of heat wave spam if he wants to go that route with uh, Skeledurge. Um, so yeah, that's just really nice. So, uh, Mian Xiao is just actually fantastic here just, uh, to threaten the things that, uh, my special attackers might have a little bit of trouble against. Gyarados is also looking great here. It's kind of like a very bulky set, but we still have a ton of potential to go on the offense because we do have Dragon Dance. We do have screens on Klefki, and we do have the redirection and bulk support from Clefairy with Friend Guard, so I can easily see us be able to set up a Dragon Dance, maybe even two, and then we just get to go ham on this entire team. Sure, we only have Temper Flare to be able to hit the Ogre Pawn, but everything else we can just plow through with those two moves. Protect, of course, keeps us healthy. We are holding a Rocky Helmet because our primary purpose is just to be a nice, strong Intimidate Pivot and be able to uh, do a little bit of extra chip damage and be very annoying for the opposing team. And last but not least, we have Klefki. We have a Covert Cloak because we don't want to get flinched. Uh, we don't want to be able to, uh, <laughs> we want to be able to just do our moves. Uh, so, you know, you can't, uh, can't hit on that so like I said we got screens if we choose to go that route with like maybe a setup or just in general you know he does have some setup on his team he has got swords dance guard chomp he's got swords dance ogre pawn could go that route uh, I think uh, nasty plot on the uh, the nine tails I think that's that ver version still gets it so that's pretty cool 
Um, so yeah, definitely a lot of offense on the other side. And, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to read what the lead is really going to be for him. Thunderwave for a little bit of speed control. And then Sunny Day is great, so we can disrupt the snow. It chooses to lead something like uh, the Alolan Ninetales. We can go for a Sunny Day, not only boosting the power of our Fire-type moves from Chandelure and Gyarados, but we can also disrupt that Aurora Veil potentially coming up. So, yeah, it's uh, this is a really good team, uh, in my opinion. I think that we got a nice mix of support and offense. Like I said, I don't really see a great way for him to stop the Trick Room option from Chandelure. So that's kind of going to be our main uh, lead-in uh, for this. For this, but uh, other than that, I think that we just have a lot of good offensive pressure and uh, good supportive Pokemon uh, and bulk. So anyway, that's going to be it for right here. Thank y'all so much for stopping by watching, and I hope you guys enjoy the battle. All right, there we go. Okay, so we got Articuno, that, that Garchomp thing, other thing, and other thing. Okay, uh, Tinkaton, Wellspring, Garchomp, Ninetales, Articuno, and Kilo. Okay, so a lot of different routes they can take. A ton of different, excuse me, routes that they can take. So, um, I think... The safest route? Hmm. Could do like Klefki Chandelure. Mian Shao. I, I kind of feel like leading Mian Shao. Mian Shao. Mian Shao Chandelure. Clefairy Darkrai. I think that that's a strong lead into pretty much everything here. It is a little weak to Ogre Pawn, though, if I had to... If I'm being serious, though. Um... Let's just lock it in. Let's see what happens. There's a lot of different ways that he can go about this lead. Um, I honestly don't really know. So... Yeah. Let's just see how it goes. There's almost certainly going to be a Covert Cloak somewhere. I don't know where. So, let's just see where it's going to go. Okay. So. Cool. I float on my air balloon. Okay. So, I could definitely just do that. Uh, fake out the Ogre Pawn Trick Room. I think that that's a good, good route to to go here. Protect. So afraid of the fake out. So that's great. You can fake out that, and we get to set up the Trick Room, which is fantastic. All right. So. I am not really afraid of the Kilo. I'm just going to close combat and Heat Wave. Yeah, I, I really want to kill that freaking guy there. That's fine. That's exactly what I want. That's a lot of damage. Get a burn on that. That's great. Close combat. And there we go. No more redirection. Awesome. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Air Slash goes into my Shandy. Okay. Pops my balloon. It's great. That's fine. That's, I'm loving it. Helios, who is that? That is a Gar Chomperino. So, okay. Um, Deadass, I'm not really... I'm still not really afraid of the Kilo. I can just probably just do the same exact thing. Chandelure should be the slowest thing on the field. 
Um, he still hasn't broken my sash. So that's great. Yeah, I figured that's what was going to happen. As long as I don't miss my heat wave, I should be okay. I spoke it into existence, probably. Nope. All right, cool. Kilo dead. Cool. All right. Uh, and what was the last? What was the last? Precy, pre precy. Awesome. That that's great. In fact, actually. All right. Um, did we see Moldbreaker? I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. Uh. Yeah, I'm fine. Actually, just. Okay. How many more turns of Trick Room is left? This is the second to last turn of Trick Room. I'm dead ass. I kind of want to protect because I feel like if it has protect, it's probably going for it here, right? I want damage on that dark ride just in case. Uh, I also don't hate just switching to Clefairy. Actually, yeah, and then switch to Clefairy. Protect. Wavy protects. Yeah, let's just attack. Let's just attack. I, I should be okay as long as I preserve. Mian Shao, I think I'll be okay. Beep, beep. Nice. Doesn't... Yeah, I, I am... That's great. That's fantastic damage. Stomping Tantrum, that's perfectly fine. Chandelier, you did fucking incredible! You did amazing! Life Orb. Okay. So yeah, let's just go Mian Shao. All right, uh, and we just like Icy Wind. Um, Icy Wind and uh, probably just knock off. I wanna learn what item this thing has. It, pro it should die to a knockoff. I should be fine. All right, so it's fine. Thunderwood. Covert Cloak. We found the Covert Cloak. We found the Covert Cloak. We found the Covert Cloak. Great to new. Right? Yep. Found the Covert Cloak. Awesome. Fantastic knowledge to have. Um, I'm dead ass. I just do this. I just close combat. Iron head. It's fine. Clefairy lives that because she's a little champion. And we just get the knockout. It is rough skin as expected. Okay. So let's uh figure out what we learned about this. Um, we know that this has follow me. Kilo has protect and air slash. So, um, that worked out great. Honestly, I could definitely see them switching gears to the, uh, ice mode. So I can see the, well, we know that we can fake out that guy. So that's great. That's fantastic, in fact. Hmm. I love Gyarados. I do love Gyarados, actually, now I'm thinking about it. I think it comes in the back, though. I think it's the same lead. I love Gyarados in this. I really do. And then, I think we just go all offense. Yeah, I think that should be okay. We just go all offense, all in on the freaking offense, baby.
Alright, I figured. I figured it was gonna be something like that. Figured that would be the lead. Alright, so. I feel like I could just go straight for a close combat and. Nah, let's just play it safe. Let's go for the fake out trick room. Yeah, let's just go for fake out trick room. If you get Thunder Wave me, that's fine. Uh, I'm breaking my own Focus Ash with uh, hitting him anyway. So, it should be okay. Um, yeah, let's just go for fake out trick room. Should be okay. Yeah, okay, so you went on the offense. So I flinch. Gigaton. Breaks my... Yep, tried to break my sash. Uh, break my balloon, which is great. Which is fine. Alright. So now, I'm going to switch and go for a heat wave. Honestly, I could probably just protect. I mean, dead ass. I think I protect, actually. Because I feel like he could be trying to protect with the uh, other guy. Try to get that. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that is... That I think... Okay, yep. He's going to try to preserve that he's definitely going for stomping. Okay. That's fine. That's relatively fine. Gira comes in. I get to get a nice Intimidate down. Nice. Just try to waste my turns. That's okay. Okay. So, um, I really don't want veil to go up and I think I'll be okay okay just protects there that's fine um I don't know why he's not just attacking with Garchomp that's so much fucking damage and temper flare goes into that that's just dead awesome yeah I don't know why he's just not swinging with Garchomp I feel like that's uh, a little bit of a missed opportunity. Breaks the mold. It's fine. Alright, uh, how many more turns of Trick Room do I have? This is my second to last turn of Trick Room. I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm just going to do that. I, I can deal with the Garchomp in the back. Um, as long as it doesn't get like a scale shot or something. I got that off. Okay, it does withdraw Helios, which is the Garchomp. Amity. Okay. The Articuno comes out. Fakes out Gira. That's fine. That's actually fucking amazing. Um, in fact. Absolutely incredible. In fact. Um... Because now I get boosted damage Temper Flare. Uh, so that's probably Snow Cloak, if I had to guess. So that's fine. Um, yeah, yeah, and I'm like, I have Garchomp in the back. So, I, and I have all my Pokemon, or not Garchomp. I have Darkrai with Ice Beam in the back for the Garchomp, which is fine. I am very interested about what's going on here with the Garchomp. So, Heat Wave comes out, does a decent amount of damage to the Garchomp. Get a burn on Garchomp. Oh man, that's uh, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. And this is actually double damage boosted fucking Temper Flare. That did good damage. <laughs> that good. Oh, that was a crit. To Damn, he got fucked that turn. <laughs> He got bodied that turn. Damn, dude. Oh, shit. 
Twisted Dimensions return to normal. That's fine. Um, honestly, I feel like I just Dragon Dance and uh, Heat Wave. Um, if he tries to kill Shandy, that's fine. Uh, I am perfectly fine with what, what I have in the back. Doesn't even kill Shandy thanks to the burn. Um, so that's great. Freeze Dry comes off. That's okay. Gyarados does go down, so that's definitely heavily invested. Um, Articuno, uh, if it was just not invested, I was perfectly fine. And Big Shandy, baby! Taking the last two kills. Yeah, like, even if, uh, I didn't get that crit and that burn on Garchomp, I was pretty comfortable, uh, with what I had in the back. So, that's perfectly fine. G, G's to one crash. Go check them out. Links will be down in the description, along with all the other coaches that I believe are uploading this season, because it is not upload required this season. But, of course, you're here to watch me play some video games. So, Anyway, yeah, go check them out. Um, yeah, I think that just we had a really good team. Um, they had a really good team themselves. Uh, you know, you saw it in the intro and stuff like that. There's so many different ways that you could go about it. But I think the trick room mode that I kind of cooked up a little bit seemed really good. And just we had a ton of offense to just power through everything. So anyway, though, that is going to be it for me today. Thank you all so much for coming. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I love you all. Deuces.